if the ocean were a country it would have the seventh largest economy in the world hello and good morning everyone today my lecture topic is blue economy the concept of blue economy was first introduced by gunter paul in his 2010 book the blue economy 10 years 100 innovation and 100 million job friends the blue economy is sustainable use of ocean resources for economic growth the livelihood improvement of lifestyle creating jobs and maintain the ocean ecosystem health if we see the scope of blue economy it will help in renewable energy maritime tourism maritime transport aquaculture fisheries and many others friends now let's talk which factors that affect the blue economy first is the natural disaster like cyclone typhoon the tsunami and many other threat that directly affect and the destroy the millions of birth of the property every year second the man made disaster like oil spilling and climate change are the major issue third some other threats like piracy the drugs and arms smuggling human trafficking maritime terrorism that also the area of concern fourth impact of climate change as we can see the temperature and acidity changing of sea so it is also a concern fifth the ocean pollution the industrial waste the agriculture waste and ocean mining are the major concern for blue economy now let's talk why blue economy is important for india first it will help to improve the livelihood lifestyle of the coastal communities of india second it will increase the connectivity with neighboring country of india third as we know the 85% of the global crude tra- trade is done from the indian ocean so it will also help in this context fourth india's blue economy supports 95% of the business through transportation and it contribute the 4% of the india's gdp fifth it will create jobs it will help to reduce the poverty and it will provide foods to millions of the poor people friends now let's talk some steps that government have taken uh, in recent time like sagar mala project the deep ocean mission the o smart and india norway task force and etc friends in my conclusion as a way forward india should adopt the gandhian approach of balancing economic benefit with sustainable growth as we know india is surrounded by the ocean from three sides so india should take the benefit of uh, ocean and improve the blue economy and india have potential to provide the foods through blue economy to the every poor people of india and india can improve the livelihood and create jobs for the coastal communities thank you